is up everyone and welcome back to another video and welcome back of course to Monaco still but check that out we've gotten a bath at the Monaco ports uh, very kindly Ryan from RDT photography and please check out his Instagram because he's taking some insane photos he's kindly let me film this for like, um, about an hour or so do some crazy laps around Monaco's um, Formula 1 track park up the port and how cool does it look to be at the Monaco port and as you can see behind me it is raining I'm getting soaking I don't care because I'm in Monaco and there's a bath here and as you know my love for baths because my dad's got one but nevertheless I think a baths are just so cool and I'm speaking to him about maybe my first car being in the bath potentially um, also I'd like to quickly add last night at the casino I think I saw my dream spect a bath it was orange, you could kind of guess why I might like it as orange, have a guess. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do some crazy laps around the Formula 1 track, try and spot some supercars with it and have a bit of fun. Okay, so I'm here finally with Ryan, RDT photography from Instagram, I finally got that right, yeah, finally. Yeah. <laughs> so we are here in Monaco, I'm like... It must be amazing to have your car down here. Ah, oh, it's so cool. It's a dream. It's a dream. So a dream. hopefully next year we can get our bath down here. Yeah. Anyway, if I quickly spin the camera around, did you just explain about your car? So yeah. it is the 595 competition, yeah, eh? So it's a 595 comp uh, Gen 3.2. So it's uh, got the 180 brake. Uh, it's been remapped by Angel Tuning to just under 200 brake. Uh, makes a massive difference. But for this trip, I've also put the stripe on it. Um, it's got carbon wind mirrors, like yeah. Uh, and then what, this stripe, uh, where did you get inspired? What yeah, was it? So, so the, the previous sort of the really older baths, I sort of remembered in a magazine having like a, a red stripe sort of match the brakes. Yeah. I just thought I'd want to do something a bit, a bit different. I haven't seen a stripe on a bath like this before, so yeah. I'd just go for it and sort of match with the brakes. Um, to have a yellow stripe, but it's, it seems to have gone down quite well with the um, Instagram and the people seem to quite like, I'm like it. It does look amazing. I'm like yeah. at the port, it just looks unreal. Thank so much. with that then. Do some laps? Yeah, just see if you laps. Let's yeah, see yeah. what we can find. Check this out, we've got, we found two other baths. Now of course, I love this black one, but like last night spotting this, this is literally one of my favorite specs. Because I'm ginger, and this is what I said earlier at the port, this is the orange one, and the amount of carbon on it, as you can see the wing mirrors, and also it's got the roll cage in the back. I don't know if you can actually see that. Um, you can faintly see the roll cage, just there. But this spec is unreal. I absolutely love it in this colour. And of course, we've got Ryan's car. We've just parked up. And how cool does this look? Oh my god. This does look amazing. I love how it matches the caps and the stripe. Oh, oh, I'm a jumper. Yeah, this is awesome. a little bit um, of Ryan's exhaust. Now you know our car, it sounds quite different, well this car sounds quite different to um, our car. Now Ryan, what have you installed in your bath? So it's got a sponsor from the competition, but then it's also a low speed, so there's a valve. I've welded that wide open, so it's there's no quiet mode now. And uh, it's now got a blow-off valve, I'm not sure if you can yeah. hear it in the camera, mm -hmm. but it's now got a blow-off valve. 
no performance increase at all, but it just yeah. it sounds good. So uh, I think that's about it for yeah. the sound. Yeah, so it does sound pretty cool, and as you just heard, oh, I'm inside the clip, in the um, F1 tunnel, I'm like, it's a, you know, it's a head turner, a lot of people look at it, and we went even past uh, Seen Through Glass and Seb Delaney from their video, and even they looked, so this car is pretty good, I mean, like, don't get me wrong, the spec is insane, but it does also sound unreal. Down the window, we're coming up to the famous, famous F1 tunnel, where hopefully we're to hear the exhaust. so surreal to be in the F1 tunnel in a car I'm like it's just crazy to think you know that's where the Formula One is but to be in a bar it's quite special right so we are coming up to the famous hairpin you can see in Monaco this is quite a cool thing as you can see that sign over there well I'll read it for you. It says it's the most famous bend in the world, so quite cool that we are literally just driving around the whole F1 track. And like, it's just crazy to still think that, you know, this is gonna be, well, in a month's time, this will be the F1, and we're just cruising around in the Abarth at the moment, trying to hunt for some supercars. However, there's a lot less supercars, but more Abarths out at the moment. So if you just look to our left, we've got an orange 48, Nice Porsche and also a GT3 RS and an 812 in blue. Now, I'm sad we can't go that way because there's no entry, um, but that's a pretty cool combo. As we've been driving around for about 20 minutes now and still, still rain, still rain. It's a cool G Wagon there, um, but we are, I don't know, we are struggling to find supercars, but at least we're in the mighty bar. Baths. We've then also got the black one, three baths, and the orange one, the fourth bath. I'm telling you, me and Ryan can both agree, Monaco is crazy with the baths. I'm like, there are literally more baths than supercars at the moment. Um, I know the weather does not help, but you know, you've still got all the yachts out. But I'm, there's so many baths around, it is crazy. Finally, we have found the orange bath, and that is the owner, old man, but he is, he is a legend. <laughs> He is a legend. So this will literally be the spec I go for if I ever get one. And it does sound insane. There is the legend himself. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. So whilst in this bath, as we know, well, as you might know, Ryan is on a little trip to Monaco. He's been around a lot of countries. He's also been with Papworth. There's Luke in his amazing green car. Looks very cool, I have to say. And I don't think I've actually told you why Ryan's here, because you all know that I'm here, well, because of Top Marks it was. However, Ryan has actually done a fair few miles in this bar. Yeah. Has he been, well, all around the place, mate, haven't you? Yeah, so similar to you, we've got to go to uh, Top Marks, but uh, they changed it last yeah, minute. sadly. Uh, but we've we booked everywhere. But yeah, we're, we're on a road trip with uh, five cars. Yeah, uh, including well, Luke. Including Luke right there. Including the Golf R. Yeah. Um, we've got a M2, really nice M2. Yeah. Uh, Z4, Ben Ray, and Joel are in that. Um, then we've got a 3 Series, the, the economical car. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we basically did a, a five day road trip before here. Yeah. Uh, we stopped off, I think the first day was uh, Monday. Mm. Um, and we went to Reims. Yeah. Fish off in Molchem in uh, France. I probably said that completely wrong. <laughs> um, and then we, the second day was like out driving to um, 
and the roads there, oh, and they looked amazing. Yeah, so it was just, it was, um, up that drive, there was yeah. like mountainous, uh, it, yeah. was, it was amazing. Uh, so we did that, that was good. Finished in Modena to do the sort of tours around Pagani. And that is um, something I'd love to do. I'm like, Pagani, was yeah, it Ferrari, Ferrari, Lamborghini, yeah, Lamborghini. Oh, did it all. I did it all, yeah, yeah. Italian drivers though, add in, they are maniacs. They are maniacs. I can imagine, yeah. In Italy. Uh, sorry for your Italian fans, if you've got any, <laughs> any, any Italian people out there. Um, and then, yeah, for, uh, I've got three days in Monaco. Uh, and then we head back on Thursday. We go and we leave on Tuesday to uh, Lyon for mm. the evening. Yeah. And then the following day is to Le Mans and back home again. So it's so how, many, total, how many miles? Yeah, yeah total is 2,500 miles. In just I mean. under two weeks, ten days. Gosh. So uh, if you think of like Gumball three thousand, could they like yeah. do that in about a week or two weeks? You're doing a oh. fair amount, like right? the whole oh. amount, the whole trip though is worth it. Put it that way. It is knackering, but yeah. you see a lot of things you wouldn't see yeah. if you are. Uh, and also, well, that's why you kind of got the stripe for this um, trip yeah, as well. Exactly. Like you look at Luke's car, um, as you know, you might know it used to be blue, and now he's wrapped it that yeah. crazy green. Um, ben also did something to his Z4, was he? Yeah, Z, uh, Ben's got um, that sort of half wrap. That's it, yeah. From, uh, I forgot the company, but yeah, he's got a half wrap black yeah. and blue. It looks really cool, all the sponsors on it. And does it cool? Uh, I think uh, the M2's got a lot of carbon. He put a lot of carbon yeah. before the trip. Mm. Um, but other than that, I'm like, it's been a pretty cool trip for you, hasn't it? I'm really really lucky. Cool so. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully maybe next year. Yeah, for sure. Um, I reckon that might be a plan for us. I might either take Dad's a bath or yeah. you never know if I start driving, I might have a, my own a bath in orange because I will get it orange 100%. Um, yeah. yeah, join us. We'll go do some... I reckon that'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? Sorry. And we nearly ran someone over. That would have made a cool video, wouldn't it? Maybe not for insurance, but... No, no. But other than that, it's been a pretty good trip for you, so... Yeah, mate, yeah. You've it's done well in your bath, yeah. Yeah, it hasn't broken yet, so it's, it's done all right. So, so. fingers crossed, um, he also won't reverse it into the sea at the port. <laughs> we, we, we don't that want that. That could happen. Okay. Yeah. Now, how cool does this look? Wow. Big fan of this. So we've just parked up next to the devious uh, Super Leggera. Like, how cool does this look in this colour? Absolutely love this. Um, this is Aston Martin Monaco's one, and we thought we'd park up next to it, but oh, this car is so cool. It's one of my favourite Astons, but nothing like the 177. 177 for me is, you know, up here, the best Aston, but we're next to Ryan's car. This car's awesome. I love the sound of it, love the spec. I'm like, this for the, like, inspired by the historical Racing one is so cool and it just fits in perfectly, it does. Right, so I'm here with Ryan. We've just parked up next to the DBS Super Gera. Mate, thank you so much. That's right. I appreciate it, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it, mate. Yeah, it's good. Um, it's so cool to, you know, be in a bath abroad because I live in a bath at home. Um, but I bet you love it, you know, your car, bring it out here. Yeah. I bet it's insane. It's nice to bring it home. Oh, yeah. Bet it is. Your car will be good here as well. Mate, you have both, both cars it's going to happen America. soon, it will happen soon. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Um, please, please follow him on Instagram. Um, why wouldn't you, man? He takes some sick shots. Um, hopefully, by looking at the thumbnail, this is why you clicked on it with that amazing picture next to the port. Um, without further ado, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.